All right, guys, uh, we're back at it again. Uh, it's digging Don's with us. Uh, he's off somewhere around here, but uh, this is our first video uh, back from the crazy big cache. Uh, I don't expect to find anything like that, but then again, you never do. You never know. <laughs> so who knows? But anyways, we're at a little a morning spot here. We found a common uh, that we've we've been at for about 45 minutes, and uh, we just found our first really good find. Um, we found a couple of flat buttons and stuff. But uh, let me turn the camera around. Uh, I'll be right back, and I'll show you what we found. All right, guys. Relic Ray was hunting by this tree here in this common. There he is. There. Yeah. Right. There was a hole. Right here is already filled back in. And look what we got. Unbelievable. Spanish freaking silver. It's uh, 1880 or uh, 1789 looks like. There's the back. It's in really good shape, but of course he did nick it. <laughs> Unfortunately, but that's a nice coin. You don't find those too much, people. It was down pretty deep. He said probably about six or seven inches. Which this this soil here is really hard, compact. Um, so yeah, that's a nice one. So hopefully there'll be more of this. Digging Don's with us. He doesn't even know we found that Ray found this yet. He's off somewhere. So we'll be back. Okay guys, we're at an old house site here, and uh, Digging Don just found his first uh, good find, and it's a vehicle. I haven't looked at the date yet. It looks pretty clear. Can you see it? It's like a 7 there, 97, 1897. Good. Or 1907, <laughs> but I think it's 1897. So, not much on the back yet. We'll clean it up and show it to you later. It was the first hole at the house. Unbelievable, right off the bat. Yep. First signal, awesome. We'll be back with more. All right, Ray has something. Let's go see what it is. What you got? Cool. cool. Yeah, 1944 Merc. Wish the camera was focusing. Hmm? Oh, there we go. Trying to get the camera to focus. There we go, 44. Alright, guys, raise second silver of the day. Let's see if me and Dong can get some. Okay, folks, Ray just found a really unique, uh, intriguing copper. Could be a token. Yeah, it's really thick, really heavy, and we have no idea what it is because we can't see anything on it. But it's it's the it's the diameter of a two center, but much thicker and heavier. Maybe so it's an early half cent, 1790s. Yeah, we're we're hunting. Could be we're hunting on a, on a property where there was a house from the 1600s that burnt down. So who knows? It could be a 1600s coin. But we'll try to find out and get back to you guys. But that's a cool find. All right. All right, guys, we got it cleaned off enough so you can see what it is. It's a two center. There's a lot of crud on it, so it was making it feel heavy and uh, look different than what we used what to. It, yeah. But I, like I said earlier, it was this, the diameter of a two center. Sure enough, that's what it is. All right, awesome. Hopefully, we'll show it to you later cleaned up. Okay, I just picked up this pretty cool uh, medallion here. 
It says Taurus, April 21 to May 21. And uh, on the back it says, you can be original. And then around it says, your lucky number is 3 to 9. Your lucky day Friday. <laughs> so that's cool, I'm a Taurus. Another neat find, we'll be back. Okay, we're at a different house site, and uh, it's actually getting towards the end of the day now, and I thought I was going to get skunked on good coin finds. Until now, I got a buffalo. It's, uh, it's pretty smooth, though. I don't think I'm going to get a date off of it, but always good to find. Found a wheat in a hole with it. All right, we'll be back. Alright guys, uh, we were told this house was over 200 years old, but I know there had to be a house here before this, because this is a, a buckle that I found before, and uh, I think it's called a batwing buckle or something, and uh, that dated late 16 to early 17, so this, this sucker is old. If I can get a better view of it, try to get it focused for you. All right. Anyway, you'll see it at the end. That's an old buckle. It's really nice. Um, so yeah, I found a, a ball button that you'll see at the end of the video that I didn't tape, um, which also is a very very old button. So, uh, which Ray Ray told me that when I found it and. I kind of didn't believe that it was that old because the house wasn't that old, but there's definitely something here before this. That's an old buckle. It's going to clean up nice. All right, we'll be back. All right, Ray did it again. Silver Ray, I mean Relic Ray, third silver of the day. Ah, we know who the silver guy is around <laughs> here. I'm not complaining, people. I'm really not complaining. That's cool. So you got... I got four ninety nine to go. Three different uh, types of silver today. A quarter, a dime, and a real. Good variety. Uh, no mint mark. So cool. Well, Congrats thank again. Thank you. We'll return later. Alright guys, we ended up with a large copper. Yay. And it's <laughs> digging Don. Don's had a rough day today, so he's pretty happy right now. <laughs> yes. I'm not going to say anything. He wasn't complaining or anything like that. No. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, that's a great coin. Can't get it, can't see it. Well, yeah, it says 18, uh, see something on it, 1830 something, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like 1830s or 40s. Yep. Looking at the wreath. Yep. Good deal. So it's, gonna, it's gonna clean up a little bit. Hopefully. You never know with these things. The back looks yep. pretty nice. Yeah, the back looks awesome. So, hopefully, we'll get a better shot for you later. We'll be back.